imagine there is one healthy teenager who decided to put on tired clothes for school. Once she arrived at class, she got at everyone laughing and staring. My classmate pointed out, Hey, look, aren't you too flat to be wearing those clothes? Your rules are popping out, another pointed. She once again came across a mirror. She stopped staring at herself, but she continued thinking of her body image for the rest of the day. For some teenagers, this is just a glimpse of their never-ending cycle. This act of behavior is called body shaming, and it is one of the many challenges youth have been facing these days. For me, starting with my own experience, most of the time, my relatives would come around and say, Oh my gosh, you became thinner. Oh my, you're now fatter than I last visited. Or, darling, you should eat less or more. Typical, am I right? Even though they say those small comments for a few seconds. In my mind, they last forever till I become us look at ourselves in the mirror, that inner dialogue we hear continuously affects us. Like, what are we supposed to do? When we gain a few pounds, they would say, eat, eat less, but when we shed a few, they would say, eat more. So therefore, what's the point in that anyway, right? Personally speaking, girls tend to feel this way a lot more than boys. <coughs> On social media, for example, Girls get sad and bullied for their appearance thanks to the liberty and anonymity with strong men as by technology. For example, saying anything negative about a person being fat is called body shaming, also known as fat shaming. Fat shaming comments are ones like, oh, they were pretty if they lost weight, or I bet they had to buy an extra plane ticket. when people refer to them as having a dead body. People with thinner bodies can also be shamed for their weight, often called skinny shaming. It may sound like, oh, they look like they never eat, or they look like they have an eating disorder. Well, some people believe that making people feel ashamed of themselves will somehow motivate them to like, stop changing their behavior so they start like eating less or more. However, it's the other way around. When someone falls prey to body shaming, it puts a lot of stress on them, and in the case of overweight teens, it can drive them to handle that stress by taking in more calories and gaining even more weight. This is a problem we face today. To those parents having a hard time understanding why their kids are isolating themselves from the real world. Yeah, that is it. And then, like, you know, they think that we are having confidence and, you know, doing well, but actually, in the inside, when we are surrounded by low self esteem, they only uh, we only see imperfection and we do not listen. We do not listen to whoever is trying to stop us. This problem, this challenge we're facing is both overwhelming and traumatizing. Especially at a young age because it is the start of any mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, isolation, eating disorders, and digestive You may ask. Well, everyone, I exactly have the 
right solutions. One, the first step to protecting yourself from body shaming are to stop body shaming yourself and to learn to self compassion. Remember that your health status takes priority over your physical appearance, and that should always, always be your primary concern. Two, instead of repeating the negative messages, please, you should accept yourself without criticism. You know, tell yourself things. I love my body. I accept it as it is. Oh, my body is strong and healthy. Three, be proud of your individuality. Your value as a human being is worth much more than your physical body. So, remember the good qualities you bring to the world foundation for attaining good body acceptance. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, if there's a takeaway to this talk, I hope that we all feel more comfortable acknowledging ourselves. I'm talking about this for people of all ages because this is an absolutely depressing challenge we all have faced before. Above all else, keep in mind that everyone is born in different ways, forms, and shapes, and sizes, right? Yeah, so we should not compare ourselves or body shame ourselves, and there's just no point in blaming ourselves or any part of our body. So, please, be grateful for your individuality and body. Unrest your thoughts. You were born to be real, not to be perfect. I'm going to from C class.